Yes, we are back again after the break. So, we, be, we were in the topic magnetism for grade 12. I hope uh, you had uh, gone through these uh, questions. Now, I will uh, before we move on to some questions, I will explain a few things about the velocity selector arrangement or velocity fil filter which is again another important section from where you can uh, get some questions basically for short questions ok. Listen, that is about velocity selector or velocity filter we say ok, listen to it. Again let me tell you if you if it is not only related to magnetism if any other concepts also if we have any uh, questions you make a note on and uh, tell us we will solve it out ok. So, you can call and say what question it is and then let us see send some questions also I will uh, explain now related to magnetism and uh, if time permits we will be able to discuss some questions from potentiometer as well. So, stay uh, tuned and uh, come to this ok. First let us explain. Uh, velocity selector ok. See the, the basic idea about velocity selector is velocity selector or velocity filter we say. We want uh, or we, we want velocity of uh, a particular velocity of uh, charged particles meaning suppose you have got a stream of charged particles with a very high high you know different different velocities. Maybe the velocity varies from maybe uh, say 5 meter per second to uh, say 20 meter per second or something like that. So, very uh, different velocities the particles charged particles possess, but irrespective of the mass or um, what you say uh, the charge we are going to select a particular velocity that is whichever particles possessing may be say 4 meter per second whichever particles possessing a particular velocity should be uh, you know taken out filtered out for which we can me, uh, make use of an arrangement of electric field and magnetic field together. This is what I am going to explain now, listen carefully. See this is a charged particle, sorry this is a uniform electric field, sorry uniform electric field ok. So, we have a positive plate here and a negative plate. I am really if you keep a charged particle say a charged particle is coming like this, a charge Q is coming in this way. So, in what way it will be experiencing a force? This is a positive charge let us say Q is a positive charge. In what way it will experience force? You know this is Q positive charge and the direction of the electric field you can very well make out this is from positive to negative. This is the direction of electric field and this is a positive ion. Positive ion will be experiencing force towards negative plate. So, what happens is on the positive charge particle there will be a force in this direction that is F E I will write it as F E ok. So, I think you can see this F E is the force by the charge particle on the sorry by the electric field on the charge particle and if there is only electric field what happens is it will move like this you know it will come out in this way it will move in a parabolic path because already it has a velocity let us say V got it. So, it will go this way if there is only electric field. Now, what happens is imagine so that what will be the force by the electric field F E is equal to Q into E this is the force by the electric field Q into E correct. Now, you are providing a magnetic field as well suppose in this region this is a space or the region where you are providing a perpendicular magnetic field perpendicular magnetic field that also I am applying a, I'm a given direction you know I am giving a specific direction magnetic field see putting dots here shows that the magnetic field is directed outwards this way right the magnetic field is directed this way I hope it is clear ok. So, this is a uniform magnetic field direct outwards and this will also cause a force force by the magnetic field I will write the equation F is equal to Q V B. We send this equation this is force by the electric field this is force by the magnetic field. So, if suppose electric field was not there only magnetic field only this force can you say in which direction the force would be the direction of force you can find by using Fleming's left hand rule think of Fleming's left hand rule ok. So, there 
Uh, yes, uh, I think uh, there is a caller. Yes, please. Hello? hello? Yes, hello. Um, good evening, sir. Good evening. Who is this? Uh, I am Akila. Akila of which school? Shaja Indian School. Oh, Akila Dinesh? No, no, no. I am uh, another Akila. Okay, 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 okay. Tell me. Okay. Yeah, I have a doubt in potential meter, sir. Please, please. Oh. Uh, what is the driver cell? Mm. Driver cell is the one which is connected in the primary circuit, which is what is causing a constant potential gradient in the potentiometer wire. No, so that okay, first cell is the driver potential cell. Gradient. Yeah, yeah, that is the driver cell, and the other cell which is connected along with the galvanometer, no, the secondary circuit. Yeah. That is what is generally called as test cell. That's called as test cell. T E S T test test cell. Okay, okay. That is a test cell. The other one is driver cell. Okay, and the how to uh, like what are the conditions which depend on the zero deflection? Zero deflection. I'll tell you. Listen carefully. The yeah. the the EMF of the cell in the secondary circuit, which we normally write as E, correct? Okay. That should be just equal to the potential difference developed across the balancing length. In a balancing length, usually we say A J, A to J. Yeah. So that is balancing length. So whatever okay. P D developed by the primary circuit cell that is driver cell okay once again let me tell you pd developed by the uh, driver cell along the balancing length okay should be equal to the emf of the cell connected in the secondary circuit which is the what is connected along with the galvanometer if those two pds are equal they will cancel off that's why there is null deflection zero deflection okay because the cells oppose no you may have seen in the circuit diagram positive positive coming together both connected to a did you get it yes sir both the positives are connected together that's why see in uh, driver cell i think you can see on the board no so the primary circuit the cell is connected like this no along with the resistor this is potentiometer wire ab yeah and this is the cell which is connected in the secondary circuit with the galvanometer so this is the balancing length l yeah did you see this Okay, can you see this? L. Yeah, yeah, I can see. Yes, the potential difference developed across A J. I'll write it as V A J. That is by what? By the driver cell. This is the driver cell. Okay, that should yeah. be equated to the E M F of the cell in the secondary circuit. So this is the condition for null deflection, zero deflection. The E M F okay. of the cell in the secondary circuit should be equal to the potential difference developed across the balance length by the driver cell. Okay. Did you get it? Yes, sir. Yes. How is your study is going on? Well. Uh, yeah. You're preparing for the first time exam, no? Yeah. Okay. Are you, who is your teacher? Maimuna ma'am or uh, Sabina ma'am? Maimuna ma'am. Okay, 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 okay. Keep going. All the best. Yeah. Any other doubts? No, sir. Thank you. Okay. Welcome. Okay. That was Akhila of uh, Sharja Indian School. Now we will uh, resume. With this one, the velocity selector setup, the force by the electric field, force by the magnetic field. Now, we were on the way to find out in what direction the force by the magnetic field is. Okay, what direction the force by the magnetic field. Okay, so this is the way the charged particle is moving, that is velocity, and this is the way the force by the electric field alone is. Imagine if the charged particle is under magnetic field alone what will be the direction we will use the fleming's left hand rule okay so you see this finger represents what the magnetic field you know the uh, shortcut for that that is uh, i might have uh, studied this one uh, what father mother child force magnetic field current right force magnetic field current this is magnetic field what's the direction of magnetic field here this way this is magnetic field okay and what is the direction of the current by the way when you think of current the, the here it is charged particle if the charged particle is positive that itself you take as the direction of current instead if it was electron we would take the opposite direction as the direction of current okay so this is the magnetic field and uh, this is the what current current is like this down so what will be the direction of force you see my fingers this way right this is the direction of magnetic field this is the direction of current so this will be the direction of the force 
So, force by the magnetic field is this way F m this is the force by the magnetic field is that point clear. So, force by electric field is this way force by magnetic field is in this way. So, those charged particles which are coming under the influence of both the fields we use a term over there crossed electric and magnetic fields crossed means perpendicular. So, those particles which are coming under the crossed electric and magnetic fields what will happen they will be under the uh, influence of both the fields means they will experience force in both ways. But these forces are op in opposite directions electric field ex ex exerts force in this way and the magnetic field ex will ex exert force in the opposite way. Now, we have seen one point the force by the electric field is uh, dependent only on these two factors not on velocity whereas, force by magnetic field depends on the velocity. So, what we can what we have to make out we can make out from this that those slow moving particles will have only less force by the magnetic field whereas, fast moving particles will have more force by the magnetic field correct. So, that means those particles out now we assume so many charged particles are coming in this way with different different velocities. Okay. Those particles which are moving slowly they will have a less force by the magnetic field. So, what happens which force will dominate force by electric field will dominate. So, what will be the outcome force by electric field will dominate no. So, it will go this way right those particles which are coming very slowly less force by the magnetic field. So, force by the electric field dominates. So, it will go this way right how about force by the magnetic field it will be less, but the other one is dominating. Now, if the particles have high speed, so those particles coming with a very high speed which force will dominate force by magnetic field will dominate because we more v more f correct. If magnetic field the force force by the magnetic field if it dominates what happens is there will be greater force in this way. So, greater force in this way means what it will be moving to this side. So, in short the slow moving particles will go this way and fast moving particles will go this way correct because it is magnetic field uh, force experienced by magnetic field is more. Now, imagine those particles whose velocities are such that the force experienced by the particle due to both electric field and magnetic field if they are equal what happens equal and opposite they would just simply cancelled off. <coughs> okay. So, what happens these particles coming out like this coming straight in this way. Okay. So, it is coming straight that means, these particles when it comes out like this why it comes out in this way because the particles experience force by the electric and magnetic field same that means, we can just equate these two equations all right. So, q v b you can equate it with what q e these two forces are equal q q cancel. So, v is equal to what then e by b. So, those particles possess this particular velocity all will come straight you know we can use a small opening over here you know small filter here. This filter is used what for those part for uh, letting those particles having the velocity this one come out. So, all will come out with a uh, you know straight that is those all will have how much velocity this velocity that means, if you adjust the values of the electric and magnetic fields in such a way that the ratio as at the beginning I said I want all the particles having uh, 4 meter per second velocity to come out. So, what we should we should do that is only those particles possessing 4 meter per second velocity should come out. So, we should adjust the fields in such a way that the ratio E by B should be 4. If the ratio E by B is 4 then only those uh, charged particles with 4 meter per second will come out you got it. So, if you want another speed you adjust this frequency sorry adjust the uh, values of the fields in such a way that that particular value of the um, what you said that, that particular uh, particular velocity of the particles can be considered or coming out through the straight line you got it. So, velocity selector or velocity filter is an arrangement of crossed electric and magnetic fields okay, in order to select a particular velocity from a group of charged particles possessing very various velocities you know the what is entering. Uh, have uh, you know it, it has got lots of uh, different different velocities charged particles have different velocities, but what comes out have to have the same velocity for which we will adjust the strengths like this. Is it clear? So, I will show you a, a beautiful presentation of this velocity selector by what you call as a simulation. Okay, now, you look at the screen I will show you a uh, presentation of this. So, you can see there is 
a charge particle coming coming or it is coming in this way ok. So, uh, the right hand side you can make out one thing charge is written as 1 initial velocity is 2. Just imagine the particle is under only the electric field you know electric field is given as minus 0.5 it is given ok. No magnetic field see just see how the particle is coming see the particle is only under this force I will just pause it you can see that this is the only force it has got which force force by the electric field correct electric field charge is positive 1 ok electric field is down like this. So, it is going towards the uh, negative plate ok this is the negative plate this is the positive plate ok you can see it is moving in a what path parabolic path ok I will reset now again if I am supplying a magnetic field what happens is see electric field is there electric field uh, let me put electric field as 0 ok now I am providing a magnetic field to it. So, let us see what happens under the magnetic field see again the force is down like this it will tend to move in a circular path right that is about magnetic field. Now, you see I am going to use electric field see electric field is uh, let us say 0 0.1 ok 0 0.1 is the electric field or 0 0.2 let it be and magnetic field I am giving 0.1 see what is happening see clearly you can see that it is going in a straight line is that clear you see what happened is I think you can make out from this one there are two arrows one uh, two, uh, those two arrows red arrow indicates the force by the um, uh, magnetic field and the other one is blue arrow is due to electric field. So, they are equal and opposite ok. So, equal and opposite and you can see one more thing. So, if I increase it 0.4 is the electric field and uh, electric field by magnetic field now so, 0.2 is the magnetic field. Now, let us see what is what is happening is the force is increased. Now, it is clearly seen <coughs> sorry it is clearly seen this blue and uh, violet arrows they are in opposite directions ok opposite directions and they are equal as well. So, what you can make out is it is going in a straight line. So, it is 0 what net force. So, what do you understand from this look at this data see initial velocity is 2 y component of electric field is 0 0.4 and it is 0 0.2. Just have a look at the board what is written over here. See look at the board v is equal to e by b. So, if the velocity of the particle is e divided by b that particle will go without any deviation. Now, again you see the diagram see in the presentation you can see the electric field is 0.4 magnetic field is 0 0.2 0 0.4 by 0 0.2 right that is 2 which is the initial velocity look at the velocity velocity is 2 now. So, the ratio of these two is equal to the velocity that is why it is going without any deflection. So, if I increase the value of electric field further you see I am increasing the electric field alone. Now, what happens one of the forces will be bigger see this force is bigger. So, it is not in a straight line it is going deviating path is there ok or uh, what you can see if it is increased more see 0 0.8 or point uh, yeah. Now, let us see how it is going to be. So, it is a under a greater amount of force it is going deviated path right. This is the case of presence of electric field and what magnetic field which is what is causing the charge particle to move in a uh, under different forces ok. Now, I will explain some questions based on the magnetism again uh, I will do one thing one question from potentiometer I, I think I will explain it is the time to discuss one question from potentiometer. So, uh, I will show you one second just wait. Okay. Say I will take out one question from potentiometer.
Okay, look at this question. So, all of you have seen the question. A potassium, it is actually a question which is given in the sample paper. The question is a potassium meter, sorry, um, one second. Yeah, this is the question. A potassium meter circuit setup is shown. All of you carefully go through the question. The potential gradient is given across the potassium meter 0 0.025 volts per centimeter. Okay, ammeter percent in the circuit reads 0 0.1 ampere. Very carefully go through the question diagram as well. Look at the diagram. So, because I am not going to draw the diagram because time is very less, um, I will just explain how to solve it out. So, those who did not get the question fully, you have to look at the uh, sample paper because CBSE sample paper question paper and uh, see what question it is. And uh, I will just show the solution now. The question is simply have a look at the diagram. All of you look at the diagram first. The first and second terminals of the key are closed. Then the balancing point is 40 centimeters. Instead, if first and third terminals are closed, the balancing point is balancing length is 100 centimeter. Then you have to find the values of R and X. You can see R is R and X connected in the um, this part in the secondary circuit part. R and X. Okay, so this is like this three terminals. Okay, so one, two, three. So if one and two connected, then what happens is only R is included in this. And potential gradient is given as point. I'll uh, explain it very fast. If you did not catch up, you can get back to me again. We will see if, uh, the next time. We will discuss in detail. Phi is potential gradient. And when connected like this, the balance length initially found to be how much? Uh, 40 centimeters. And when connected 1 and 3 when connected like this, then this is not there. Then R and X together is there. Then the balance length is 100 centimeters. This is what is uh, given. So, you have to find out the values of R and X. So, I will tell you the method. You know, initially this potential difference as I explained this one to uh, the girl who called from charging school. The potential difference across this resistor is what is equal to potential difference across the balance length. That is the condition for balancing length. Okay. So, we will write P d across this. P d across this how do you write? Current is given in the question as 0 0.1 ampere. So, 0 0.1 ampere we know potential difference is current in the resistance. So, 0.1 into R that is P d across this is equal to initial the PD across the given balance length which is 40 centimeters. We can write it as phi L1. Phi is given as 0 0.025. L1 is 40. Right? This is <coughs> 0.1 R. So, R is equal to how much you get? On solving this, you will get this is 1, okay? 1 by 0 0.1 which is 10 ohms. So, we get R as 10 ohms. Right? And the second case, R and X together. R and x together the p d across both together is what is equal to the potential difference in the balancing length say phi l 2 you see I think you can see this current into this part current is 0 0.1 into 10 plus x is equal to 0 0.025 multiplied by 100. What if you saw this? Solve this and on solving this you will get I think x is equal to 15 ohms you will get. So, R is 10 ohm, X is 15 ohms. So, you uh, solve it out yourself because I was explaining quickly because we do not have much of time to uh, spend today. Uh, what we will do is uh, in case if you have any more questions, you can uh, mail us or as well a mail ID is also given. You can see that if anything to be discussed, we will see in between before the examinations. If you want uh, any sessions to, um, on physics, you can very well get back to us and say we will go accordingly. Right. Any uh, this is as I mentioned. It is your program. You try to make use of, my dear students. And I hope all of you will have a good examination uh, coming up in the next week. I think uh, many of you will have exams. So let's hope for the best and be cool and try to what is a uh, recollect. Always after getting, after preparing the contents, always you should try to uh, recollect. Try to recollect. Uh, as much as possible so that you know you should make sure that is instead of learning and uh, thinking that okay I finished learning and uh, now I can relax instead of that 
uh, take it in such a way that okay after finishing this much whether i will be able to present the answers tomorrow for the examination you have to have a uh, what to say a recap or the output you have to take uh, and uh, write down write and see whether you will be able to present it or not okay anyway um, uh, let's hope for the best i hope all of you will have good paper coming up and again we will see for with the uh, next uh, another topic uh, different bundle of questions we can say see again the next week stay tuned with ntv bye bye